second set for Brian O'Driscoll. Brian O'Driscoll is the man of the moment. Of course he has to be, because he's just absolutely imperious, one of our great Northern Hemisphere players, great world players. Uh, you can join Austin now, hopefully, with, as you say, a little homage to yeah, Brian homage. O'Driscoll. He says it better than you, Mark. He says it far better. Homage. Than me. <laughs> Where is the little one? Where I'm over here, man. Come over here. <laughs> if you just want to come over here, just come over here. Just go back to back. Yeah, there we go. No, no, we have to talk about Brian O'Driscoll. Probably the best player the Northern Hemisphere has ever seen, if not the world. 141 caps, breaks all records. Why has he stood out so much, if you your mind? Well, he's maybe the most gifted uh, back, you know, into the North Hemisphere. I think uh, it's the guy, he's got some skills. He had, well, he had the speed, now he's got it, but not as much as, as he had in the past. I think he's very brave. He, gave a, he gives a lot in terms of attacking attack, but he gives a lot in defense. He can work really hard, take the ball from the opponents, and he's a fantastic character. He's easygoing, modest guy. You know, he's, every time he, he had an injury, he managed to come back. Really, really most, one of the greatest from, uh, from you know, the, the world of rugby. And, well, we are very disappointed that, that he's going, but uh, I think for, for his last game, the Irish player will try to do the best, but unfortunately for him, he plays against France, so it might be hard. <laughs> yeah, all great things have to come <laughs> to an end, but for all the kids watching who just think you can be born with natural talent, and he was born with an immense amount of natural talent, it's not just that, he's constantly evolved, he's made his game more rounded, he's worked really hard, hasn't he? Yeah, he worked hard, and the combination between him and Darcy, I think that was the right thing, you know, they, they work really hard together, they have the confidence, Every time one is, was doing a mistake, the other one, you know, could help. Sexton now, which play, which play really well with them, you know. So yeah. I think the combination between them, you know, was really awesome. And we can show some moves, you know, from... Yeah, uh, well, we'll show some moves from the weekend, actually. Brian O'Driscoll set up two great tries. He set up three, actually. But let's go back to the two Sexton tries. And one in particular, the loop that he played, was all about the dexterity of his eyes and his ability to hold a defender. So let's just walk through it. You don't remember, it was a loop. Where's my inside centre? Here he is. They ran a simple cross, Thomas in the centre, so Brian O'Driscoll outside, he ran in front, the ball came in, he just looks at this guy and all he's thinking is, I'm going to hit you there, but he's not. He gives the ball at the last minute and through goes Sexton and scores. Now, if we go through that at a bit of pace, we see the difference. So, if you pass me the ball, all he's thinking about is holding this defender. His eyes are everything. His eyes are on the defender. They're right on him all the way, even if he's tucking it under, and then it's there last minute. Hey. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you will have enough pace to get around, Thomas. I know that, you know, yeah, but, time but, hasn't but, been that but, kind but, to That's a good demo from someone who's watching from the touchline most of the time. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least I was always fit, not injured. Here we go. So he comes in, he locks that in his eyes, and he just leaves it. <laughs> <laughs> in the hole. <laughs> Mate, if you'd have been English, you'd have been damn good, let me tell you. So the other one that he scored was almost identical in its setup, but then we saw an element of his play that he's developed so much over the years where he gets hit to the outside and he keeps one of his hands free. As he keeps that hand free, he has the skill and the ability to throw a long offload to the outside channel to Kearney, who then creates the try on the inside for you again to score, Sexton. Yeah, yeah but it's the kind of action that he's able to make. But when it works, you know, everybody says, OK, that's fantastic. But when it doesn't work, you say, why did you make that pass? But him, his skills, you know, make the difference. Unless you're French and you can... Yeah. Try the pass whenever you want. Uh, you, you would like to be French. Yeah? Uh, You'll be jealous. Would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The ball comes out again. They run the same cross. This time he hits, he takes the tackle and he rides the tackle as the tackle keeps coming in. But he gets his hand free. The defenders go past and he offloads to the outside. Sexton keeps working, unlike yourself, and scores in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so nice come in. <laughs> Outstanding. Brilliant stuff. We are truly, <laughs> a truly, truly great iconic rugby player.